What's up everyone, Jordan here from Hardcore Music Studio. I don't normally do these kind of DAW specific tips, like Pro Tools tips very often, but I've been working through uh, some sessions on this new computer here that I've got. I switched from an older, older Mac Pro to a new iMac. And with that, you know, having to basically re-input all of my kind of default settings and the things that were just automatic for me that I put in place over the years on my old system, getting that all up into the new one. So I keep coming across new things. So just some quick tips here on how to speed up your Pro Tools workflow. And they might seem like small ways, but it adds up to a lot over the course of a whole mix. And, you know, of course, when you expand that into days and weeks and months and years, of mixing it's a big deal so a couple things the first thing is setting your favorite plugins now this might be obvious to some of you and some of you may not know so when we go to an insert here we have the usual insert list uh, by category that's how i like to sort it here but at the top you have this little section where you can put your favorite plugins and it's very easy to uh, put some plugins there so i definitely want to get the l1 limiter there since i use that a lot so you're going to hold down the command button on mac while you click it and you can see it just went away and no plugin came up, uh, but that's because now we've got it in the list there. And you have to do it separately for um, stereo tracks versus mono tracks. So you can see on my stereo tracks, I haven't um, set the favorite plugins there, but the SSL channel is definitely going to be one. So let's do that. Holding command, click. So there we go on stereo tracks. We now have the SSL channel coming up. So, you know, on my old setup, I definitely had probably, you know, I don't know how many I had here, maybe six of my favorite plugins here that were uh, very quick to go to. Um, so that's one tip is setting your favorite plugins there. It just saves you digging through the menus and you just be able to get there with a couple clicks. Another plugin tip I wanna show you is setting the default settings that come up when you load a plugin. So obviously normally it just comes with the what's called the factory default. So whatever that is, could be all the knobs at zero, it could be a certain setting. Um, for a couple plugins, they're basically, I use them for like one purpose only. And uh, that's when I want to set the plugin to automatically come up with those settings already loaded. So I'll show you how to do this. And one of the places I do this is with the Pro Tools Sansamp plugin. So we'll go to bass track here. Just raw bass DI. Let's load up the um, Sansamp plugin here. Where is it? There we go. So just factory default, default settings, right? Not really doing much it's not what i'm going to use it for i love this plugin for the svt preset that it has built in here and that's always where i start from so i noticed you know over a bunch of mixes i was constantly loading this up and going to this preset so rather than having to actually load this up every time you can set it to automatically come up so let's load the svt preset instantly sounds way better right and it's way easier to tweak from that starting point than from scratch every time and oftentimes a mix, I just leave it like this, but you know, sometimes we might up the drive or something. So let's just reset to the SVT preset. Okay, so now here's what you gotta do. First, you have to save the settings into the Pro Tools plugin window. So it's not the same as like, if you have a Waves plugin uh, like this, they have their own kind of presets here. You don't wanna go there. You wanna go up here to the Pro Tools window. So let's go back to this. Let's go save settings as, let's go SVT default okay now once you've saved that setting there you're going to go here and click set as user default so this means that this from now on rather than the factory default this is going to be the default setting and there's one more step you're going to go settings preferences set plugin default to user setting so that means that when the plugin loads up instead of the factory setting it's going to go to the user setting so let's clear this off now let's load it up again now see what happens. There we go, we've got our SVT settings here. So that means anytime I load up this plugin, I'm gonna get these settings that I want. It's, it seems like a small thing, but it's a huge time saver. Another place I do this is with the CLA-3A compressor. Basically 95% of the time I pull this thing up, it's gonna be on an electric rhythm guitar or lead guitar, and I love this electric guitar preset, and I've actually tweaked it a little bit um, to get the normal amount of gain reduction that I want on this. And you can see I've saved it here as E guitar. And then in my presets, I've got settings preferences default to user setting. So again, when I load up this plugin, CLA-3A, we've got the guitar settings here. Uh, and that's, again, always using this plugin for that purpose. So it just totally makes sense to, you know, load up those settings by default and not have to go and, you know, perform the same task over and over 
And that's a big factor in streamlining your mixing and being able to mix faster is just trying to take things that you do all the time repeatedly and put those into something that happens automatically. So those are just some quick plug-in tips for Pro Tools, guys. Uh, let me know if you like this style of video that's more of the technical kind of DAW-oriented kind of thing. I use Pro Tools, but I'm sure there's a way to do the exact same thing in all other DAWs. Um, but this is just a little quick workflow tip. Let me know if you guys like this, and I can you know, definitely point out some other little things that I do in the DAW to help me speed up my workflow. And uh, yeah, otherwise, if you're not on my email list, make sure you go to makebetterrecords.com. Subscribe there. You'll get your free mixing cheat sheet. You'll get on my mailing list, which is where I send out all of my best content. So you definitely want to be on there so you don't miss anything. And obviously, subscribe to this channel uh, so you get updates whenever I post a new video here. Leave a comment. Again, if you want to see more of this or certain things that you do want to see, you know, if it relates to Pro Tools or other workflow dot tips, let me know in the comments below so I know, you know, how I can help you in an upcoming video. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.